hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to learn about phase modulation phase modulation okay so if you are first time to my channel please consider subscribing and encourage me to do more videos like this so phase modulation is uh, defined as the process so it is defined as it is defined as the process in which the phase of the carrier the phase of the carrier is varied in accordance with the in accordance with the amplitude of message signal amplitude of message signal okay so phase modulation is not that much important but uh, the relationship between phase modulation and frequency modulation is important so for that we have to discuss some of the important points of phase modulation only okay so this is the definition of phase modulation so the standard i'll write in the form of points so the standard time domain equation time domain equation of pm that is phase modulated signal is uh, so s of t of pm i am writing directly is equal to ac into same 2 pi ac into cos of 2 pi fct plus kp into m of t okay so kp into m of t as you have kf in the case of frequency modulation now we have kp so kp represents phase sensitivity of modulator okay so phase sensitivity of modulator so it uh, it represents change in change in phase of carrier for one volt change in amplitude of message okay so for one volt change in the amplitude of the message signal how much the phase of the carrier changes is given by this term kp so its units are radians per volt radians per volt is the unit for this kp okay so this is the thing which you have to remember so what what is phase modulation so phase modulation is a uh, voltage voltage to phase conversion okay so what is frequency modulation frequency modulation is voltage to frequency conversion so the amplitude the amplitude of the message signal is converted into frequency of the carrier okay so that is why frequency modulation is voltage voltage of the amplitude that is the message signal is converted into frequency so is it is resided in the frequency of the carrier okay so it is voltage to frequency conversion phase modulation is voltage to phase conversion okay right so for a single tone s of t of single tone pm that single tone phase modulation is given by ac into cos of 2 pi fct plus kp into in the place of m of t we are writing am cos 2 pi fm into t so it is equal to ac into cos of 2 pi fc into t plus kp into am in phase modulation just remember this in phase modulation no not details are required so no in-depth analysis is required in the case of phase modulation so del phi that is phase deviation just as we have del f in the case of frequency modulation so we have del phi is equal to beta so beta is modulation index modulation 
index in phase modulation in PM. So we will represent with beta only. So del phi is equal to beta is equal to Kp into Am only. Okay. So this you have to remember. But in uh, uh, but in the case of uh, FM modulation, so what we have formula for beta, so beta we have written as delta F by FM, but here it is equal to del phi only. <clears throat> so substituting that, so Kp into AM is equal to del phi into cos 2 pi FM into T or we can write it as AC into cos of 2 pi FCT plus beta into cos 2 pi fm into t. So this is the standard formula for single tone phase modulated signal, single tone pm. Okay. So just now we have obtained S of t of single tone pm, single tone phase modulated signal is ac into cos of 2 pi fct plus beta into cos 2 pi fm into t. So when you write single tone fm, single tone fm standard time domain equation is given by ac into cos of 2 pi fct plus beta sin 2 pi fm into t. Okay. So when you observe these two equations, so the difference from these two equations only. So difference is only with respect to this that is the at frequency message FM that is at message signal it is a 90 degrees phase shifted version cos and sine are 90 degrees phase shifted versions. So at, at a message signal frequency only we have a 90 degrees phase shift. So the difference between FM and PM signals is a FM and PM is a 90 degrees phase shift a 90 degrees phase shift at message frequency at message frequency only you have a 90 degrees phase shift okay so this is the difference okay so if you write the standard time domain equations here so s of t of uh, pm is ac into cos of 2 pi fct plus kp into m of t similarly for fm it is s of t of fm is ac into cos of 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf into integral 0 to t m of t dt okay so these are the standard time domain equations okay so comparison of pm and fm that means how to get uh, or relationship between pm and fm you can take it as that concept also so when you have 2 pi kf is equal to kp okay that means 2 pi kf value is equal to kp then what we can we have is so if you want a to generate a pm signal if you want to generate a pm signal from fm modulator okay so from fm modulator if you want to generate a pm signal then how can you generate that or how can you do that so you want output as pm signal but you are giving a fm modulator so first of all what you have to do is we have to pass this m of t the message signal m of t is passed through a differentiator okay so it is passed through a differentiator so output of this will be d by dt of m of t d by dt of m of t now we can pass this output as input to any fm modulator so any fm modulator and you will get a pm signal pm signal because 2 pi kf is equal to kp so what can we get is ac into cos of 
2 pi f c t plus so 2 pi k f I'm, I can substitute with k p now instead of m of t now we have d by dt of m of t because m of t is first passed through differentiator and that m of t is applied to fm modulator of course the other input will be the carrier signal a c cos 2 pi f c t okay so k p into integral 0 to t d by dt of m of t okay so d by dt of m of t dt you have so integration and this differentiation will get cancelled out so what you will left over is ac cos of 2 pi f c t plus k p plus k p into m of t okay uh, so it is an pm signal okay so in order to get a pm signal from fm modulator so first of all you have to pass it through a differentiator and then pass thus that uh, differentiated message signal through any fm modulator you will get the output as pm signal suppose if you have the reverse case so that is if you want to, if you have fm signal if you want to generate some fm signal from any pm modulator any pm modulator so first of all what you have to do we have to pass it through an integrator circuit which one m of t m of t first sorry m of t is first passed through an integrator circuit so output will be integral 0 to t m of t dt so now we can pass it through any pm modulator we can pass that to any pm modulator and output will be fm signal okay so output will be fm signal so if you consider this uh, ac into cos of 2 pi f c t so kp in the place of kp i can write it as 2 pi kf so plus 2 pi kf so in, instead of m of t now we have integral m of t so integral 0 to t m of t dt so which is an fm signal okay so this is the relationship between fm and pm so that means we can generate we can generate a phase modulated signal from an frequency modulator we can generate an pm signal from fm modulator or we can generate uh, fm signal from pm modulator okay so that is why uh, in any in any uh, board exam we don't have any more emphasis on frequency sorry phase modulation we have more emphasis only on frequency modulation because once you know frequency modulation then you can generate pm signals very easily like this okay so this is the relationship between fm and pm signals that is pm signals can be generated from fm modulator or fm signals can be generated from pm modulator Okay?